so this is just an example of homemaking for me i'm currently making some almond milk i'm going to drain it and put it in my now i have my glass container that was in storage my other one and then we happen to run out of <laughs> my syrup which naya loves this for her um iced coffee and we use it for a lot of stuff sweetening a lot of stuff not just our pancakes and um and uh, waffles or french toast and i'm glad i got my waffle maker because i'm gonna be making some waffles i'll probably do a video on that and how i pre-freeze the waffles and they can just grab them and make them just like you get eggo waffles frozen from the store and i'll be making some green tea today so i'll probably just put it with this um if this is something y'all interested in just let me know um i think i did little mini videos i haven't shared them yet but what's happening today i cleaned out some stuff in the refrigerator that i want to get rid of these two containers and I is going to use this rice for some sushi she's cutting potatoes because for dinner this Sunday dinner will be some cornbread some roasted party wings with some um, potato and I try to clean out my refrigerator on Sundays too I'm gonna get a regimen for my cleaning so I can share these different things but she cut up some nice golden yellow big potatoes um, and and then I made pickled eggs. They love pickled eggs. They eat them like three at a time. So I'm going to have to get me a bigger mason jar. Um, it's only a couple left. So I'm actually getting ready to peel some, um, and I'm washing, getting ready to peel, peel these eggs. Nice, getting ready to rinse those. And that's what we're doing this Sunday, just chilling and getting things together and replenishing uh, things that are like the milk. The green tea, I like to keep fresh green tea, sweet and green tea in the refrigerator and my syrup. So I'll show you guys when all those are done. So yeah, let me get back to what I'm doing. Put vanilla in here, but I actually put it in the bottom so it'll just mix. I gotta get me, I thought the wide mouth um, strainers I got would be perfect for this, but I gotta get a, some stainless steel strainers for doing my milk. And that's all I do. This is a quarter of a gallon um, because this is a half a gallon thing. Just enough. Um, to last throughout the week because we don't drink a whole bunch of milk But when I want to cook or when they want to eat cereal, I want them to have milk So the milk is done give it a little swish and put that away in the refrigerator All right, so this is the tea I use and it's called gunpowder tea and it blows up. Um, so let me show you what I'm doing this up with some water so that's it I don't fill it completely up that way when I add my um, fresh fruit and my simple syrup that I make it doesn't overflow so I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator Naya already came and got a, be <laughs> a bowl of cereal okay next on the agenda is peeling the eggs but I'm gonna peel the eggs while my water is boiling for me to make my syrup so I'm gonna do that after I get the water boiling all right this is going we got maple here we're gonna let this go and I got a couple other things I'm gonna be adding to it so yeah I decided to make a little bit more milk reground the ones I did. I, good thing I didn't get rid of the almonds. They were still sitting in the bowl. So I reground some more milk and I'm about to put it in with that. My hands are clean, clean guys. I clean them really well before I do this. Okay. Set. Refrigerator. Yeah, our next meal after the roasted potatoes is going to be some homemade tomato soup with grilled cheese sandwiches. So let me peel the eggs. Let me clean this up. And this has to cool on the counter so it can thicken up. What's wrong, baby? You can eat all of those. Huh? We'll have an extra. Ah. And I don't put the top on until um, it cools off. So I let it cool a little bit on the counter. And then I'll put the top on. So, and it thickens as it cools, so yeah yep oh, look at me talking about the top and grab it Whew, hot mm -hmm. 
Naya, maybe she'll make an iced coffee and use this. I hate wasting anything. <laughs> so let's get these eggs peeled. I'm gonna sit, cause I feel like when I'm standing, I rush to peel them. And I hate when they, when I rush and forget to put the stuff in the water so that they don't um, stick. So I'm just gonna take my time, sit here, peel all these and put them in that jar. So next week they'll have more pickled eggs. So that's what I'm doing. It'll come off nicely, but I forgot to put, I like to put salt in them and it helps and I didn't do that. So yeah, I was rushing. I was like, oh, no, I actually told Naya to put them on, on the stove and I forgot to tell her to put salt in them. So you gotta deal with that brine of the egg. Usually it'll pull off and that's what helps it to be easy when you're peeling it. So yeah. If you didn't see my pickled egg video, I do like a curry spicy pickled egg and the girls love it with onions and fresh garlic and stuff. That's what's in that jar. And you can use that brine a couple times because it's, it's vinegar. So that's a great thing for um, like canning and stuff and it helps to preserve stuff. So you can actually, I use mine at least about three or four times before I remake the salt, the, you know, the spices and stuff over again. So this will be the second time um, and I'll probably use it maybe once or twice more. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I wish my Alexas could play music because I like, I hate when I go to another room and I'm recording and I can't hear my music. I love to hear my music. I try to look for free crop, copyright music for Alexa to play and she always says she can't find us. So I'm going to Google and try to find out how I can do that because I keep music playing on I have stopped it because I know it's, it's, it's energy because I usually keep it 24-7. I'll keep this fuzzed up. When we come in the kitchen midnight, late night, it'll be a little bit lower and we're listening to music. Some type of jazz or something that's real soothing is what I like to listen to. So, yeah, one more left and then we're going to put them inside the jar after I rinse them off. So what are your routines? What do you do? What do you, what makes you feel good doing what for your family? What is it that you do that makes you feel good and you enjoy doing it for your family? Talk to me in the comments. All this, I love it. My, like my girls, sometimes I'll buy like 2% milk or skim milk if I really need it for a recipe and I, I don't want to um, use the animal milk because I don't know how the, the recipe is going to turn out. Um, I mean, I don't want to use the plant-based milk and I don't know how the recipe is going to turn out. So when the almond milk was done, I was like, it is stop. And I looked at me like, mom, you said that's not good. I'm not, I'm not going to, she would not eat no cereal. She'd been eating dry cereal and y'all know she's so silly. She grabbed the bag and walk out looking pitiful. Like there's no milk. <laughs> and so she'll walk out. I'm like, girl, you are silly. So she will not eat it. If it doesn't have, let me, let me rinse these. They have been rinsed, yeah, but she will not eat it. And I shook the um, stuff up, so I'm just putting all the eggs in. Usually it'll take 10, but Naya forgot. She said, oh, mommy, I forgot you said 10. So she just did nine. And um, I just kind of shake these on a daily basis, and I leave them in the refrigerator. And next week, they'll have some fresh pickled eggs. So let me put these away. And I think that's it. I did my syrup, my tea, my milk, my pickled eggs. These are staples that I have to have in the refrigerator for the girls. And that's it. And I'm still doing laundry. And then in a couple hours, I'll put, I'll season the roast and chicken and all that stuff and um, put that in the oven. So this was going on for my Sunday. And talk to me in the comments. Tell me what it is that you like to do for your family. If you are new to my channel, I am a single mom and I am starting all over from an 18-year marriage. I'm used to doing homemaking. I'm used to being like a housewife, but also working from home. And then sometimes I would get jobs outside of the home if I needed to, if we needed to pay off debt or we needed to get something or pay for something. So we're not in debt getting certain things. Um, so I'm not beyond doing that if I have to. Um, I'm in a state where I don't know anyone. I'm starting all over and I'm sharing the journey of me buying a fixer upper 
and definitely it's been overwhelming but transforming it and making it our home which is already our home but transforming it to be cosmetically what i want it to look like what i want our home to look like so if you enjoy stuff like that and these type of videos real talk real wisdom real content that can help you in some way shape or form inspire you help you save coins help you learn how to do stuff and, and motivate you or inspire you to do something different in your life that is worth that's worth it and my thing is um memories over material like living a priceless life to the fullest frugally is what i believe in so yeah um that's it that's just a quick video on a Sunday because I'm doing these things. And look at all that goodness in there, y'all. Some fresh onions and peppers and garlic. I mean, onions and garlic and, like, pepper flakes and curry and, oh, so much good stuff in there. So, yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. Later, gators. And thank you so much to all my new subscribers that say, hey, I'm a new subby. And, and saying I'm here for it. I'm ready for it and all that. You guys keep me going because it is stressful when you're not going with what's trending and you're just being genuinely genuinely you and trying to share your life with people you're letting people in on things that you're comfortable with letting them in on and that's a lot that's a lot you know what i mean because you don't know who's watching um but it doesn't matter because if you're being gen generally you and not doing something against you to harm you or harm anyone do you enjoy life enjoy life because we only get one and it is a priceless time that you need to act as if it is priceless like nobody can't give you your time back so all right y'all later gators see y'all in the next video